Okay, so next I'm going to load uh, WeFlow and just show you those settings. So here in WeFlow, I uh, just have one page of emulators. Uh, if you download the Ebbs Master Mod, you can have up to six pages, but a lot of those don't work. Um, these are typically your main and most reliable ones, so we'll just go ahead with these. So here you can see all the emulators. Um, again, we have 12 in total. I'll show you all the settings quickly, so just push the home button twice. And then we'll get the settings. So back on page two, we also have some startup settings. Uh, sometimes I adjust these. So the force load CI, CI OS would be on, and then we set this to 249, and then save that. And I always initiate network on boot, that way you can always available to download covers. But if you ever get any, if, you, if the game ever freezes or gets stuck, just try these two settings in WeFlow, I turn it on and set it to 249, and uh, Give the game a try again. If it doesn't work, well, you can mark it as bad, and or look at the compatibility websites that I told everyone about. Here's how you would download covers and files. So you go download, you go missing. Um, you can do that for each game. I'll just show you games. Come down here in the right-hand corner, go settings. Here's your settings. Uh, I, if for some reason your video mode didn't work, I would change it to system or NTSC. And iOS, you can, sometimes you can put that to 249 as well. So, I mean, just look at the compatibility website and adjust the settings, but for the most part, how I have it set up, at least 90% of the games would work. So, uh, let's just give this one a quick go. Okay, that works. I'm just going to exit this. So, the other additional things I had done, I installed uh, Nintendo 64. Uh, the WAD pack is in there, so I installed this as well. I only have about 10 games here that work reliably, so uh, it's a lot of messing with the settings, but I would go load ROM, load from SD, then I would go next. These are basically the games that work. We're going to give Paper Mario a try, see if that works. And play game. It's going to tell me it needs a controller. Okay, so that loads. So I'm just going to push the home button to get out. it lets me.
So in addition, I also installed the USB loader CFG. Uh, this is a good emulator to play backup games, mainly Wii and GameCube games. So all of this is on your on your master Wii download file that I'll give you for for my Dropbox. So uh, again, to sum up everything, you would go into Homebrew after you do your initial please hack me dot com uh, letter letter bomb hack, and then go into Mod Me Lite, press load, install your wads. Uh, and basically install everything that's under the WAD pack. Uh, just do a batch install, push the plus. I'll go SD. Then we'll go master WAD pack. Um, we'll install everything here underneath this WAD pack. So just push plus and then A to proceed. If you do run into any problems, Replace all the version 10s. Uh, so basically, you go back and then install all these finals. So these seven, uh, 